Saskatchewan news alert leprosy of all things is making a comeback and Central Florida appears to be the epicenter. The painful disease is now considered an endemic to Central Florida. Yeah, not what you expect to hear. The CDC is saying one fifth of all those new cases they've been reported in our region and Fox 35's Marlisa Goldsmith is live in the Fox 35 Alert Center with that warning, uh, one that will catch a lot of people off guard. Marlisa. Absolutely, Ryan and Luann. The CDC says the ancient virus should now be considered part of all patient exams who show rashes and swelling. The virus has been commonly seen in places like India and Brazil, but now Floridians with no history of travel to those places have been infected. This 54-year-old man from Central Florida who works in landscaping gave researchers permission to share these photos. Take a good look at them. Swelling on his face is apparent here, as are lesions on his ankles. 95% of people are genetically immune to leprosy. The disease has been around since 600 B.C., but has seldom been found in the U.S. Until now, most people with it had traveled from areas where the disease was already prevalent. But now researchers are concerned because most cases seem to be local acquired it is a re-emergence we're seeing more of it now um, why this is people don't know you have almost negligible threat as far as infection goes all right, so the other thing to watch out for is exposure to armadillos. I know, sounds strange, but researchers say a large percentage of U.S. patients have the same strain of the virus as is commonly found in the animal, suggesting that close encounters may be to blame. As far as whether people should be afraid, doctors stress that it's highly unlikely for it to be passed from person to person. It is a curable disease, but must be caught early to avoid long-term damage to nerves and limbs. Live in the Alert Center tonight, Marlisa Goldsmith, Fox 35 News. Marlisa, thanks.